Hey guys, just Roger to Apple here, and today Apple has granted a patent of what we call the in-cell display technology, which is a new display technology that we did take a look at a couple months ago of what possibly will be on the next iPhone 5. This technology features a digitizer and the touch panel, or the display and the touch panel so called the digitizer, the glass panel being merged into one piece making it a thinner construction. The patent was registered under the number 8243027 and was described as the following. Touchscreen liquid crystal display, abstract disclosed Harian arc liquid crystal display, LCD. Touchscreens that integrate the touch sensing elements with the display circuitry. The integration may take a variety of forms. Touch sensing elements can be completely implanted within the LCD stack up but outside the knot between the color filter plate and array plate. Alternatively, some touch sensing elements can be between the color filter and array plates with other touch sensing elements not between the plates in other altern alternative. All touch sensing elements can be between the color filter and array plates. The latter alternative can include both conventional and in-plate switching IPS LCDs. In some forms, one or more display structures can also have touch sensing function. Techniques for manufacturing and operating such displays as well as various devices embodying such displays are disclosed. So you guys take a look at the diagram and the pretty much just shows a finger there and the touch layers that would form this new display technology. So all in all, the main, um, the main part of this, um, just to break down the description or define it for you guys, it's pretty much a touchscreen liquid crystal display in which liquid crystal display, so called the LCD, touchscreens integrate the touch sensing elements with the display circuitry. So in other words, it's a LCD that has a touch integrated into it. Instead of having a touch panel and a digitizer that takes takes touch sensing capabilities and uses it with the display. So in this case, it's just being merged into one piece. They say that this may not just reduce the thickness and weight, but also result in a higher touch accuracy because the it, um, the same using the same electrodes that already exist to drive the display means that a higher touch resolution can be obtained with little or no additional cost. So this patent was filed all the way back at 2007. So just to wrap it up, Overall, the intention of this is one, it could reduce Apple's costs in terms of the production. Instead of having order two different parts, it's being merged into one. As you guys know, I did do a video not that long ago talking about the fact that um, Sharp announced that they were shipping the iPhone displays already this month. And also LG Display and Japan Display are also going to be the ones making the screens for the next generation iPhone. So overall, this does make the device thinner, lighter, and like people said, it would be better to maybe use that space to increase the battery life as you guys know to be able to accommodate the LTE and the battery power that it would require. So thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in my next video. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit the like button below. If you would like to be notified of future content, please subscribe.